Hey, you've made it to Boombox. People like you make this place special and we're excited to have you here. This is the homepage. Here you'll find a list of things worth completing once you sign up. A link to all our Boombox tutorials, including YouTube videos on production, mixing, mastering, and more. We also have this section down here, which will let you know how much storage you've got left. In the files tab, you'll be able to upload files and folders containing all of your musical genius. To upload your files, head over to Upload Files, select Files, select your files, press open, and then select upload. You can minimize this so we can carry on with other tasks in the meantime. Select your files to have access to a range of menu icons, including create a folder, share your files, move your files, add to queue, add to playlist, download, and delete. You can also sort the files by alphabetical order, time duration, when they were uploaded, when they were modified last, and the size. There are a few ways in which you can share your files and folders. Let's start with files. To share a single file, click on the three dot drop down menu. Hit share. And then here you can enter a name, email or phone number, Boombox user or create and copy a link, which can be copy and pasted into an email or text message. If you're sharing multiple files, select the files you want to share and then go to the share files icon in this menu here. Again, you can share via name, email, phone number, or create and copy a link, just like before. If you share a folder, you'll be given the ability to set up permissions per person who you share it with. By clicking on this drop down menu, this will allow me to set those access permissions. We have admin, editor, commenter with download, commenter, and view only. Before sharing, it's worth taking a read through each of these to understand exactly what permissions you're giving to the person you're sharing the file with. Alternatively, you can create an open share link by clicking on the drop down menu in the bottom right hand corner and selecting which permission everyone who has this link will have. For now, let's select anyone with the link and edit. This will then allow me to copy the link and copy and paste it into a message and or email. If you have branded sharing enabled, which I'll show you how to set up later in this tutorial, when someone someone receives a single audio file, it will look like this. They won't have to sign in to play back or download the file that you've shared with them. On the other hand, if you've shared multiple files, it will look like this. To listen to an audio file, all you have to do is click play on an audio file. However, opening an audio file will allow you to leave timestamp feedback as text or voice notes. To add your feedback, select the timestamp and then write your comment. More bass, please. Then hit comment and your collaborator will be notified via email and boombox of your feedback. You also have the ability to upload versions. In the bottom right hand corner, next to the download file icon, you'll find an upload version icon. Once two or more versions have been uploaded, you'll be able to access them from the drop down menu here. I can click on another version to listen back to it. And if I want to, I can even use this as my active version. This means that every time I open this audio file, this version is going to be the one that plays. In the version drop down menu, if I click on see all, I'll be able to see all of the versions. From here, I can select them, download, delete, or use the three dot drop down menu on a single version and download, edit, delete, and set as active. I also have the ability to upload a new version. The player at the bottom of the screen is permanently fixed and will continue to play music wherever you are on the platform until you play another audio file. You can at this point add audio files to the queue. By adding an audio file to the queue, this will play after the current file that's playing is finished. The comment button, which lives next to the queue button, will take you straight to the audio file where you can leave feedback. Playlists are great for when you want to compile a body of work to share with artists, managers, labels, or maybe just your friend. To create a playlist, select your audio files and then head to the Add to Playlist icon. In the Playlist tab, you can see all the playlists that you've created. Within a playlist, you can press Play All and the tracks will play in sequence. You can also easily rearrange the order of tracks by clicking and dragging and head to playlist settings where you can change the name, description and cover artwork. You can of course upload more files to your playlist if you'd like to and go to the share tab where you can share by email or create a link. On the receiving end of the share, the playlist will look like this. If you scroll down to the bottom of the playlist, people who you shared it with will be able to add a comment but only if they've signed up for Boombox. For those of you who want seamless upload and download integrated into your Mac desktop, we've created the Mac OS Sync app, where you'll be able to log in and connect your Boombox account. 
and synchronize your files between Boombox and the desktop platform. You can promote your folders to projects by clicking on the three dot drop down menu and hitting create project. From the projects tab, you can then select your project, add collaborators, which will also allow you to create splits and generate composition and master income contracts. You can also message within a project, set up tasks and add artwork and other metadata to your music. Here at Boombox, we have an entire world of music makers at your fingertips. You can find artists, musicians, and engineers by name, or you can head over to the Filters tab and search by genre, skills, instruments, tools, and location. There's also a toggle to check if they're available for hire or if they have uploaded sample tracks so you can listen to their work. To make sure you're set up for success and easily discoverable, head to the profile settings in the top right-hand corner. Here you can add your display name, your custom URL, a photo of yourself, a header image, and you'll want to make sure you have brand sharing enabled so that you can share your files with your custom images. So people know it's coming from you. Don't forget to upload your music, of course, so people can hear how talented you are. And you can also set up your location and links to things such as your Instagram, plus any skills that you have, genres that you're into, instruments that you play, tools that you use, such as your DAW or hardware, and languages that you speak. And of course, don't forget to hit save at the bottom of the page. And once you have all of that set up, your profile should look something like this. Hopefully this all made sense to you, but if you need any help, you can head over to our support in the top right hand corner and one of our awesome team members will assist you with any trouble you're having. Happy music making and welcome to Boombox, the home of collaboration.